Hey everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. And, and go ahead. So there's there's a little bit of missing time. Uh, uh, the last time we were filming, so I've got a little bookmark over there. You might remember, because it was last week for you, that there was an oversight in the transportation of certain, you know, ME-related uh, things. What's in the Rick. box? And <laughs> so I went to mine a meteor, uh, which is my next sort of mission. Rick made me a meteor compass, and I made a sleeping bag so I can go on this excursion. And then I hear this... <laughs> Rick, Rick just chimes in about seven minutes into recording. He's like, uh, all my lights just went out. I'm like, well, how are you still talking to me? Uh, my modem and my computer are plugged in to my UPS, my uninterruptible power supply. My but monitor's my monitor worked. isn't. <laughs> yeah. So, how long was your power out? It was like a couple of hours, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a good couple hours. And it wasn't just Ryan, it was this entire area here. Yeah. It was it like was... 1,200 houses or something like that, and businesses affected. <laughs> Oh, man. I love living in an old city. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the sleeps. Now, so I am off to mine a meteor. I So that I can... Semi-doing various things. Hopefully find the inscribing tools that you need. Yep. And I am about to try and crossbreed these carrots and these wheats. What does that do? Uh, a zombie? if it works... Yeah. It'll get me uh, sugar cane seeds. That seems like a thing. Oh, it's a thing. So I'm just digging my way to the middle of this meteor? Like, there's no special advice I should need? There's no monsters inside it? No, there's, there's no, no monitor, monsters. You're looking for a chest inside it, which is about the same color as the uh, rest of it. Understood. Have fun. My diamond pick is super underperforming on this thing too. But it's yet yet it's the only tool we have to dig into those. I literally, I think we each have one diamond pick. And no, I have an iron one. Oh. Oh, it is literally the only tool. Uh-huh. Okay. So we Oh, Skystone chest. That's calculation what press, engineering press. Ah, oh, we need the silicone press. Okay. So are there, is there more than one chest in a meteor? No. All right. So you got the, what, engineering and calculation? Yes. I know we need the silicon. I'm looking up what the other one is, but our luck, it's probably the logic. All right. I will come and drop these off because I'm very close to home. And then I will go on an adventure. Um, the biggest issue, I think, is going to be uh, getting far enough away from the meteor we did find yeah to possibly find another one I think it's the enemy what's the detection or? radius do you know I see I remember you quoting it last time I don't know all I know is that the meteor will be found at the junction of about four chunks okay so I'm gonna put them in your enemy chest. <sighs> There's your presses. There's a bunch of other it's not the interface, oh, is it? There's the agriculture chest. There's a bunch of other random things. All right. Yeah, it's the logic one we need, and we're gonna need gold to go with that. Okay, gold we can do. We have a mine shop. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, Jim, you know how when you go and do your normal uh, sugar canes and stuff? Mm, you, yeah. you get two things from a sugar cane. These yeah. ones I've got planted here. I right click them. I get four. Ooh, nice. And they don't actually need to be directly beside water either. Okay. But yeah, that's a demonstration of crossbreeding, and the sheer amount of crossbreeding I'm going to have to do is going to get done off camera because they're. I think I'm looking at about ten hours of work. Oh wow. Alright, so... Just because it's like a percentage chance to crossbreed. So, I'm going to go find some sand. I don't know how well that's going to work out for me. So, I've got this meteorite compass. 
And that is going to show me where meteors are, but currently it's still just showing me the one that's way back by our, by our place. This redwood looks super cool. I'm a fan. Was that one of the giant redwoods? Yeah, we got an obelisk out here. Excellent. <clears throat> Not that I'm going to cause any trouble like with one that. One of those floating ones? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm well aware of what the, the hell you're going to do over there. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh no, you Excuse only know me, partially what I have to do. things to do that don't involve you. Oh yeah, I might oh, have mentioned oh, this. Oh, right. We're picking up another meteor. Oh nice. We're in business. But yeah, for anybody listening, if my voice seems really off, I'm recovering from a cold. Yeah. It's it's that like post winter uh, uh, allergy and cold season here and it sucks. Um how do you feel about um pumpkins? Uh, I'm going to crossbreed seeds for those. Okay, because I just found some. Uh, the weird thing is about when you crossbreed them, you'll actually get it so that the pumpkins grow on a single square, and they don't have to take up two squares of space. Oh, neat. Yeah. Same oh, with right, melons. Oh, right, because you're planting seeds instead of like using vines. Yeah, and they'll just grow in a I single block. I just found block. a little tower in the middle of nowhere. It's a trap. Uh, probably. I'm gonna go look at it though. I just tried to quick save, um, which ain't gonna work. You've been playing Fallout 4. Mm hmm. I need to get back to that now that survival mode's officially released. Um, that's a specially colored harpy. You know what? Actually, it changed my mind. We're just gonna keep looking for. What do you mean, specially colored? There's usually two colors as there is. Um, is one of them like ice ish blue? Yeah. Okay, if that's the one I'm looking at. We get attacked by them on occasion. Oh. Just like, calmly, yeah, I know, our defenses take care of it. I don't, I don't really worry about it. I don't... Yeah, no, I'm just I don't. running from cockatrices now. Real super care. Alright. That desert's uh, kind of dangerous. Yeah. Just a little, eh? Yeah. I want that castle, though. It's going to be mine. Like, I, I need to reclaim my castle. That's what I hear. Usually from you. Uh huh. It's because it's my castle. I don't see your name on it, man. I will go and put my name on it then, if that's what it will take. It just might. It just might. All right. Where is this meteor? There's this like wicked mountain. It might not be on the surface. Listen. All right. Let's not. <sighs> that's right. What? No, I want. I want that. Okay, let's repair my Matic. Alright, so we're gonna build a little bridge. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get home. Uh, probably walking. I mean, yeah, but. I'm building those one-way bridges that you build in Minecraft, where you're like, I can definitely get to a place from here. But home? Down? Getting down? That's a problem. <sighs> I'm just sitting here at the fence line, wanting to go out for more gravel, watching this cockatrice dance on top of the, um... Got it. Oh, nearly fell in some lava. Come here, boy. Do Come here. Bucket? Uh, I only have a bucket of water. I don't have a bucket of lava. For lava, I don't. All right, we're in meteors. <gasps> okay, we need the silicon and logic. Everything's presses. fine. That's good to know. I just dropped like ten blocks. That's not much. No, thankfully armor and um a bunch of things. I was just like, if I die at the bottom of this, I'm gonna have to like find my way back here. I mean, it'll be easier, I guess, because I have a death marker. But I was hoping to avoid that. And it was just a sheer drop. The Minecraft walk of shame. God, <laughs> going to find your body. <laughs> Alright, Meteor, here we are. We are in business. There's a bunch of andesite over here, I have no idea what that is. It's decorative. Neat. Andesite is base Minecraft now. Oh. Uh, andesite, diorite, and granite. They're decorative blocks in uh, Minecraft. 
You know what? Um, I know who. You know what I didn't bookmark? The Way Home. The House. Yeah. Now, I do have the first Meteor bookmark. Ooh, 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 For some that. reason, I'm not surprised, Jim. Listen, all right? I wasn't expecting to have to go out so early. I thought we had everything we needed. I... You do realize one of the very first things I generally do is bookmark the house. Yeah, I know. I now know. that I said that, I'm bookmarking the house. <laughs> so it's not just me. I don't know why I didn't have a bookmarked already. All right. That's really weird. Yeah, it's hard for me to find the box alone with my normal vision. I can't imagine what it's like for you. What do you mean? I, every time I hover over a thing, it tells me what kind of th what kind of block it is. Let's just look at that. Okay, now. Colorblind. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I just try and see it uh, amongst the rest of the stuff. What was I looking for? I think it was at... Uh... No, they do look a little different. Like The patterns are a little different. It's close, though, which yeah. is rough. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Right. Is it usually in like the middle of the meteor, or can it be anywhere in the meteor? It's usually in the middle. Okay, because yeah, the, the last one I found was actually pretty close to the top, so... Oh, I didn't actually need uh, gravel for this. For um, coke oven? Yeah. No, sand and... Uh, Rick. Rick. You know what I'm going to do? Turn my fan on for me? No, I'm going to seal myself inside this meteor so, so, so nothing can like drop down in and bite me. It sounds boring. Uh, a little bit. I'm just sort of staring at blocks and um, busting them open. But soon, we'll get a chest and hopefully we'll get processors that we need. I'm impressed we found two meteors this close uh, together. I need more sand. This is going to take 27 brick uh, blocks. So hopefully we've got All enough right. clay. So I need four clay and four bricks per block. Yep, just stand around inside of me here. Nothing to see here. Bringing you quality viewing from inside a meteor. Like, I mean, I'm assuming you're still mining away. Oh, yeah. Trying to expose more uh, so Man, if only I had a turtle. Yeah. Enrique or Franklin or Ophelia, they would make such quick work of this meteor. They would chop it to pieces and be like, here's your processors. I'm like, awesome. Yeah, except uh, they didn't survive. No, they did not. To be fair, I'm worried about how much of my magic stuff survived, because if i got to start that all over again, I'm going to... I'm going to pour one out for MVK right now. Yeah, if I have to start all that Thongcraft stuff over again, I'm just going to go, like, blow up the server. You don't blow up the server. We did that. We did that video. It wasn't even that long ago. No, no, I mean, I'm going to find a way to put TNT everywhere. Oh, yeah, that seems reasonable. And then Throw detonate the it all. Build a bomb-proof workshop. I'm server admin. You're screwed. Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna fall out the bottom of this meteor. You still not found it? Nope. Believe me, if when I find it, you'll know. Where are we here? We're. Just making sure that I haven't, like. I'm trying to mine in a way that, like, exposes the most stone. Because what I'm really worried about is spending so much time on this that I run down my diamond pickaxe. I will laugh if this is the only meteor with no chest in it. No, they always have a chest. Yeah, I believe you. Oh, good. Oh, 
Dark and dreary, though. Yeah, you can decorate on the inside, though. Around. Making sure my meteor is lit so that I don't accidentally spawn something. I can't spawn things inside here, but knowing my luck, ooh, ooh, that's a stone pick. That's not going to get me anywhere fast. <coughs> Apologies for any years I've exploded. Yeah, as I cough into your molars. We're so close. We're so close, Rick. And yet, so far... I can almost taste this chest. What's it taste like? Rocks. And space. And possibility. Damn, that actually sounds tasty. Right? It's like artisanal possibility. Which I've just decided is the name of this episode, no matter what happens in it. Is what? <laughs> artisanal possibility. What the hell's artismal? <laughs> you are not the only person who would like to know. Handcrafted, hand mined possibility and opportunity to. Jesus, where is this chest? Probably missed it. Also, I think you're just making up words now. Mm, a little. I'm fine with making up words. I make up words all the time. Like, flern turn gurjum. to anyone who caught that reference. I didn't. No. no it's, I don't know what's with me this week, but I'm like the lord of obscure references. Hail? Yeah, sure. Our furnaces are so freaking slow. I know. I wish to... I wish I had the parts to uh, turn them into redstone furnaces. Only... A, none of my furnaces survived the trip. And B, all the parts are locked in our discs. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because I don't think Jim wants me to just break down in tears and then blow everything up. I'll record it. It'll be fine. All this sky stone. But yeah, I still have not found the chest. That's that's pretty bad, man. Listen, alright? It's a big meteor. And I've like tunneled my way through it. It should have been right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Come my way down from the top. And uh, I did not encounter a chest. It's there somewhere. I believe you. Because you definitely wouldn't like maximum level trolling like this. No, not when I want to get in the damn box. <laughs> Me. Last one was so easy. 
It lulled you into a false sense of security. Uh, it lulled me into a false sense of possibility. Ha! Ah! We're in chess. Yay. What do we need? Uh, logic and silicone. Good news, bad news? Time? You only got one of them? Silicon. Well, that's needed for all parts. So, good? <clears throat> that's good, yeah. Is it dark out? No. Okay. Alright, so I'm standing next to a village. You don't have your crossbow anymore, do you? Nope. Good. Why? Why do you ask? Crossbow was evil. It possessed I you or something. Disagree. The crossbow was a lovely behavior modification tool. I found some horsies. Um. Mm. What is the, is that a slime island? Is it floating up in the sky? Yes. Then yes. Neat. Do we care about that? Not right now. Okay. Because neither of us can fly, obviously. I mean, we could build a... You know, a scaffold up to it, but... Okay. So, we have the silicon press. Now I need to, like, not die. Because then I will have to walk back and get the silicon press. From my grave. I'm at another village. This is a densely populated area. That's oil. I'm gonna watch the sunset. Nice. Over those harpies. Oh, and speaking of harpies, I'm standing on sand. Let me. Well, I definitely don't want to fall down there. I wonder if there's... Oh no, there's sandstone at the bottom. Okay. Every time I find a bunch of sand that, like, populated and it's hanging, I always like to break it so that I can see it fall, because it's really exciting. Another tower. Thank you for sleeping. Well, you've got my silicone press. I do. You have a hostage I now. I really want to go look at this tower. But I prom oh there's an obelisk right near it too. So I promise if it's hostile, I will just run away. There's a bunch of harpies over by it, fuck that. I'm really not interested in picking a fight with anybody at the moment. There's definitely no I don't know, those are stairs. The tower might be empty. That's a cockatrice, which will presumably follow me forever. Need to get out of this desert. Deserts are dangerous. Ooh, red sand. What are you gonna do with red sand? Uh, nothing, actually. I remember, f I have fond memories of red sand because, and hardened clay. Wasn't red sand like a, a drug in Mass Effect? Uh, yes. Yeah, now I see why you have fond memories of red no, sand. No, no! Yeah, like, yeah. On the old Feed the Beast server, way back, when uh -huh. we had Greg Tech, I used to be able to centrifuge all this really useful stuff out of red sand, and so I, I went, like, on a quest to find it. I'm in this huge clay biome. I'm climbing a mountain made of hardened clay. Did you pass through that on the way uh, out there? Mm, I have not passed through it yet. Uh, but I have found another meteor on my radar. Damn, you have more than the compass? You have a radar now? Well, my compass. Whatever. Oh. I thought you were, like, tacking up without me. Oh, man. Every opportunity I get. Alright, so let's go to the top of this giant... It's like this huge clay mountain. What does it dig into? Oh, pickaxe. It digs into a hardened clay block. What do I use it for? I think it might be able to be using recipes that sometimes use just clay. Um, Maybe? 
apparently hardened clay is part of vanilla Minecraft. According to this, you can stain it. You can turn it into a. Ne never mind. Don't worry about that. Oh. Nothing. Everything's fine. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can turn it into regular clay though. At the very least, I did not find a way to do it. I gotta look up hardened clay. Don't worry about it. I said, don't worry about it. I'm almost, ideally, I'm almost at this meteor. <coughs> it looks really pretty, too. Because there's all these different colors. Number three. Oh, we're getting blocks. Yeah, we're going nuts now. Got it. This one's got chickens on it. So we're going to go into this one. No, we're still going to go into the top. I was about to say we're going to go into this one from the side, but we're really not. Going in from the top usually works better. Yeah, it seems like it would. Alright, here we go. We'll do like the wild cranberry thing and snap, 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 snap. <laughs> I've been watching a few too many of his pack on op uh, openings. Alright. In the interest of uh, not spending an hour and a half uh, digging through this meteor, um, we'll see you next time when I get to the chocolatey center of it. Like, chocolatey center? Caramel? Nougat? Nougat. Meteors are full of nougat. <laughs>